In the vast darkness of space exists a monster with no face. No light escapes it. No time flows the same near it. Planets that drift too close are torn apart and swallowed without a trace. And if you get too close, not even your atoms can scream for help as you are stretched into threads and crushed from all sides. So what is a black hole? Imagine a star, many times more massive than our sun, reaches the end of its life. It explodes in a supernova and then collapses inward. In that collapse, gravity wins. The core is crushed to a single point, a place where the laws of physics as we know them break. This point is called a singularity, surrounded by a boundary known as the event horizon. Once something crosses this invisible border, it's gone, forever. Not even light escapes. Think of a black hole like a cosmic blender. Around it spins an accretion disk, gas, dust, even whole stars, spiraling at near light speed, heating up to millions of degrees. Above and below, it may shoot out enormous jets of energy that span light years. Ironically, some of the brightest things we see in space come from black holes devouring matter. But the black hole itself, it's silent, invisible, a ghost with infinite mass and zero volume. Not all black holes are the same. There are three different types that we know of. First, stellar black holes are formed when massive stars collapse in a supernova explosion. They typically weigh between three and 100 times the mass of our sun. These are the most common black holes found in the universe. Many are part of binary systems, pulling in matter from a companion star and emitting powerful X-rays. Second, intermediate black holes. Intermediate mass black holes sit between stellar and supermassive types, with masses ranging from about 100 to 100,000 solar masses. They're considered the missing link in black hole evolution. These black holes are extremely hard to detect, but evidence suggests they may exist in dense star clusters. Some may form through the merger of smaller black holes or direct collapse of massive gas clouds. Third, supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes are cosmic giants containing millions to billions of times the mass of the Sun. They reside at the center of most galaxies, including our Milky Way. These behemoths power some of the brightest objects in the universe, like quasars. Over billions of years, they grow by consuming stars, gas, and even other black holes, time and space. Warp approach, a black hole, and time begins to stretch. This is what's called gravitational time dilation, which was predicted by the late Albert Einstein. To an outside observer, it looks like you're moving in slow motion, but for you, time feels normal. Fall past the event horizon, and from the outside, you freeze. From your point of view, you plunge toward the singularity. There, space and time are no longer separate they twist into something we barely understand. So what happens if you fall into a black hole? First, you'd be spaghettified. The gravity is so intense, it stretches you into a thin strand of matter, atoms pulled apart like taffy. But here's where it gets weird. Physicists still don't understand what happens beyond the event horizon. Do you get crushed at the singularity? Or is it a gateway? A wormhole? Another universe? Some theories say information can never be truly lost, even in a black hole. If that's true, black holes may hold the secrets to the entire universe. In 1974, Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes slowly evaporate by leaking radiation, now called Hawking radiation. Over trillions of years, they may shrink and vanish. Even the monsters of the universe have an expiration date. 
Black holes challenge what we know about space, time, and reality itself. They are terrifying, beautiful, and mysterious, but perhaps the key to understanding everything. If you enjoy this content and want to explore more of the universe's strangest mysteries, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a journey into the unknown.